Hi, this is Dr. Rachel Harry. We have another screencast on Maple Tutorial. Uh, this is the third out of fourth uh, tutorial on integration. We go to a little more advanced uh, subjects, uh, talking about uh, 2D and 3D Cartesian uh, coordinates as well as polar coordinates using a Maple integration function. Let's start with something a little more basic. So we have x plus x multiplied by uh, y divided by ln x. So this is my function here. I'm going to plot this function simply. I go here, right click, plot, and 2D, X, Y, and this is how it looks like. I'm not going to talk much about plotting here. Uh, what I'm going to do next is I want to do the double integration. I right click, copy, and I go here. And then I have to be in the math. So right click again and paste. In order to do the double integration, this is my integrand. All I do is you go to expression, and two times you click on this. So the next one is y and then is x. Now I do uh, integration with respect to x, y first and then do respect x. As a result, this here, and maybe I can a little uh, magnify it. So these two are the limit of y and these two further are the limit of x. Let's just have the same a limit x to the power 4. And the other one is root uh, 3x. And here my x is from 0 to 3. So this is my integration here. And as I'm done here, I click here, right click, approximate, and 5 uh, decimals. So this would be my answer. I would like to teach you another way, another method you can use uh, in order to get uh, multiple. Uh, integration. It may not be useful in this particular uh, fairly simple example, but when it goes to polar and uh, other coordinates, maybe it's better to use that method. So in order to do that, you go to tools, you go to tasks, you go to browse, and then you go to here calculus uh, multivariable integration, multiple integration, and you go to 2D uh, Cartesian, you get this example, you insert the default content, and let's just start to build what we have here. So my integrand is the function I had. This is the function. And I better go here and delete this guy here. Okay. So each time you add something, you press enter. This is my function. My y changes from x to power 4 to uh, root 3x. enter and my x changes from 0 to 3 so put it here 3 go to 0 and go to next step here this is my integration and I go here to the value and finally I go to stepwise evaluation and I get this one here right click approximate and I should get the same answer which I did so this is exactly the same as what I got on a previous uh, method. Now we can do that in uh, 3D Cartesian. Let's have another uh, equation. Uh, sorry, this uh, plus x to the power square divided by 4 plus y square 9. So those who are familiar with this. Uh, Form, you know that this is a saddle shape. Uh, let me just enter here, and if I want to plot that, you go to plot uh, now 3D X Y Z, and that's how it looks like. So let's see what is wrong here. So actually, no, I made a mistake here. So this has to be negative here. Yes, that's a different uh, shape here. So let me just delete this one here. This is a saddle shape. Yes. So we go to plot here and we go XYZ and this is what we get here. So that's how it looks like. Now let's just do a triple integration here and see if you get the same answer here. You go to copy and next step is you go to math and you go simply to paste it. And now I do a triple integration one, two, three. And the first one is Z, next one is Y and then is X. So now the limit of 
z starts from here and I give x square minus y square so this is the lower limit of z x minus y is the upper limit for y I use the same function x to the power 4 and root 3x and finally for actual x I uh, will use 1 to 5 so this is what I have here let's just check here if that's correct enter so you get this value here so you want to get the actual value approximation and the answer is 2.5353 10 to the power uh, 11 how do I use uh, the next uh, same method that I did in previous example you go to tools you go to task you browse and uh, you go to calculus multivariable integration um, go to multiple integration here we have now 3d Cartesian do the default here and here what we get so simply I go top here I enter my function here okay after each step you press enter now my z is from square x square minus y square and x minus y oh sorry go back and erase the whole thing x minus y so my y is x to the power 4 to root 3x okay and now finally x changes from 1 to 5 1 to 5 and again I re-emphasize each time you have to press uh, enter to get the value click here okay so this is correct and then I go to this step enter this is what I did and then here enter again and finally stepwise evaluation and go to approximation 5 decimal and this is the same answer 2.5353 10 to the power 11 so this is as far as uh, Cartesian 2D and 3D concerns now let's uh, talk about polar coordinate just to give you a little bit of background on uh, polar coordinate this is what uh, the polar coordinates uh, is so instead of x and y you have a radius and an angle so by having these two variables you can have any point in a surface obviously uh, if you want to convert it to Cartesian to the x is equal to r cosine alpha or theta and y is r sine theta as we have here uh, let's go back here and let's just have a simple polar, polar uh, function I would say r multiplied by theta and for that I go to Greek uh, symbols and this divided by 1 plus r square so this is my function let's just simply plot that function see how it looks like so I go here to uh, plot builder and I'm in plot here you have to be here in the interactive uh, plot with one parameter so here and then plot it looks like this so let's done so this is how it, it should look like and again I'm not talking about uh, plotting because um, we have a series of uh, screencasts on uh, how to plot but now I would like to do the integration here you just um, go here copy that and you paste it here paste and okay let's go back so I selected you go to the expression obviously dual integral here so first one is R and the next one it will be theta and now the limits here are assuming from 0 to theta square and let's see the x uh, the theta change from 0 
to pi divided by 3. So pi divided by 3, I type pi and control space, get the pi divided by 3. So this is exactly what we have. Enter. And this is the value here. So you go to approximate 5. And the answer is this. How do I use uh, the previous uh, method I had here? You go to tools, you go to tasks, you go to browse. And in this case, uh, calculus multivariable integration. We go to uh, multiple integration. In this case, we go to polar coordinates. And you insert the default content. Now, there is one thing you have to uh, be careful. When you define the integrand, so if I actually put here uh, this function here, which is similar to what I had, so I'm not going to get the correct answer. The reason is when you do the differentiation in polar, polar already you have R D R. So R D R D theta is already there. So as a result, then I don't need to actually have. I all use theta here, and this would be my integrand. So when I use now, uh, I go from 0 to theta square. OK, theta square. And here from 0 to 0 to pi divided by 3. And let's see what I get here. So what I get here, you see, this is exactly the one that I had previously. So and this r d r d theta is actually what I get because now r is uh, a function of theta in a sense you can you can say that so therefore when I do the d r d theta I have r d r d theta so this is exactly what I have here so I don't need to have r here it's getting get more complex when we go to uh, cylindrical and uh, spherical because then in that case you have d volume which transfers into different things anyway so let's just uh, finish here uh, this is correct and this is here and I go to the stepwise evaluation and finally let's just get the approximation and approximation becomes the exact same answer as we find before so just a little bit of uh, heads up on here so you remember that whatever you have here so the dr is going to be already there because you do it versus the, uh, the polar coordinate. Okay, so I would like to stop here because the next screencast we will talk about uh, cylindrical and spherical coordinates. And that will be the last screencast we will have on integration uh, in NATO. Thank you very much.